Designing high quality and accessible learning experiences that engage students is top of mind as institutions and instructors begin to prepare for post-pandemic teaching and learning. Our Student Engagement Showcase offers three major lessons from the emerging space of digital learning. But we need the anchors of learning science, a student-centered focus, and flexible learning spaces. Let's explore those lessons, and let's consider the implications for you. In their recent EDUCOS review article, Penn State's team identified five online teaching enhancements to improve student engagement that were used during the pandemic. They offer realistic opportunities to move beyond the limited streamed lecture and deepen student engagement. Collaborative technologies, peer student experts and guides, and back channels to support discussion are all essentials. Digital breakout rooms support student collaboration, and supplemental recordings give students an opportunity to repeat and review learning sessions as needed. We're also learning a lot about how to use video effectively. Thanks to apps like TikTok, many students are using video as casually as texting to interact. A recent Seven Things report notes that video technologies can shift the traditional dynamic between instructors and students to become a culture of community and two-way conversation. Videos can be used synchronously, where students and instructors interact in real time, or asynchronously, where everyone can view, respond, and interact at their own pace. West and Borup have developed a set of resources to help instructors understand and use asynchronous video to improve their online, blended, or in-person courses. Very few instructors will have the time and comfort level to move beyond emergency remote teaching to break through digital instruction and student engagement on their own. So we need active partnerships among learning design experts, instructors, and technologists with ample and ongoing input from students. Mobile learning is another option for using technology to increase student engagement in learning. Qualitative research at the University of California showed that it draws students' interest, provides a safe environment, and fosters class community and gives students and instructors multiple options and opportunities to participate. There's no simple formula for engagement that fits all students. In their paper in the March 2021 issue of EDUCAUSE Review, Edward Glantz et al. remind us that today's students want active engagement in their learning processes. Appropriate technologies can help expand the concept of student engagement well beyond traditional classroom techniques. EDUCAUSE's special Fall 2020 Pandemic Edition of its annual student study showed that students expect their course to fit their needs as learners and accommodate accessibility issues. Life circumstances affect whether synchronous or asynchronous online learning works best for students. For example, full-time students prefer synchronous. Married students living off campus and students who are working full-time want asynchronous. EDUCAUSE research also found that students' best learning experiences incorporated engagement opportunities. What matters most are the social contexts that let students interact formally and informally with their instructors and with other students, and that let them learn from and teach other students. Some faculty are discovering the value of play as a way to enrich engagement and foster an optimal learning mindset. Some students are thriving in online settings, while others crave physical interaction and the face-to-face -face experience. Higher education leaders need to listen to students' wants and needs and offer flexible and accommodating learning environments. With all this focus on virtual learning, let's not forget the value of place-based learning. And in fact, as they prepare to move beyond the pandemic and hopefully soon, many leaders are committed to providing hybrid environments that blend learning experiences in physical spaces with digital learning in a variety of ways. EDUCAUSE's learning space rating system helps do just that. You can use it to help design physical learning spaces that support multiple modalities of learning and teaching. And our new version takes a much broader look at inclusion. EDUCAUS first introduced the Next Generation Digital Learning Environment Framework back in 2015. Its core elements are both more relevant and achievable than ever before. Three of those five elements, 
collaboration, personalization, and accessibility in universal design are needed to foster student engagement in digital learning experiences. We're learning how to design high quality and accessible learning experiences that engage students. It takes flexibility. It calls for a toolkit, if you will, that consists of instructional approaches and technologies and learning environments. It asks for a community of instructors and pedagogical and technology professionals who understand their learners as individuals well enough to use that toolkit effectively. The 2021 IT Issues Report suggests three scenarios for higher education. Let's apply them to student engagement in learning. Each scenario offers a different path for action. The restore path might assume a full return to campus and resuming previous approaches to learning and student engagement. Evolving from where the pandemic has left institutions may entail improving and integrating online elements within traditional classes while offering support services for pedagogy and students' special needs upon request. Those committed to transforming learning and helping lead the way for higher education might make hybrid instruction intrinsic to all learning experiences and design those experiences to foster a sense of belonging among all students. Mm -hmm.